Well, for many women, there is nothing better. A morning, afternoon, even a day just to get away from it all and simply have fun to discover those things that we women want, things that make us feel great to be a woman. I'm talking about shopping, right? And shopping for skincare products can bring tremendous satisfaction if you know where to look and if you know what to look for. And so with us this morning to discuss how to shop till you drop and have fun doing it, Kim Hickok and Lisa Savage of Infinite Aloe Skincare. Welcome back, Kim and Lisa. Great Thank to you. be here, thanks. Great to have you here for this segment, shopping. Yeah. One of my favorite things to do, right? I wanna get inspired by you ladies, but here's the thing. When I go into the store and I shop, sometimes I have to tell you I'm impulsive. I grab the shoe because I want it. I grab the shirt because I want it. If I don't like it, I can take it back. No big deal, right? That's Right. Should we be that impulsive with our skincare products? Somebody's shaking their head like no. No. Well, like you said, you can always buy it and take it back yeah. or not wear it again. But with a skincare product, you need something very reliable that'll help your skin long term. Mm. So you want a product that's got natural ingredients, organic ingredients. So let's talk about a strategy then the next time we go out and shop, right? We want to know what not to do when we're shopping for skincare products, especially, you know, when we're going to the mall or we're shopping at a specialty store or doing one of my favorite things. And I know you out there will agree, right? You're online at 2 a.m., you're mm. bored, you click by. <laughs> what should we be looking for? Well, I think when you're shopping, you should be careful for products that have just come out on the market. Oh, They're brand really? new. Well, None I just want to try the next best thing. I know, because we're always looking for the yeah, 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 the found miracle. Of you. Yeah, yes, a miracle, exactly. However, I prefer products that have been tested, tried, proven, have good testimonials, a loyal customer base. And I also prefer a product with a 100% money back guarantee. That way I know if I don't like it, if it doesn't work for me, I can give it back. Amen. Kim, sometimes it seems it can be overwhelming, right? So we want to keep certain things in mind when we're shopping for really good skincare. And what are those things? Well, you want to read labels, get samples. We were talking about that, making yeah. sure, yeah, the mm -hmm. ingredients. Mm -hmm. But you want to, you know, can you understand the ingredients? A lot of times you can't. That's right. Yeah. So you can have the ingredient be something like propylene glycol. What does that mean? So, you know, are the ingredients defined on their website, if they have a website? How long have they been around, as Lisa mentioned? And um, you want to try and get samples and see, does the I product, like that idea. yeah, does the product soak into the skin? Does it stay on the surface of the skin? Do you have a reaction to it? Anything like that. Should they be refrigerated? Or do they have to be refrigerated? Because I think a lot of people think if you buy natural, it's only going to last two weeks and it's going to go bad, or you've mm -hmm. got to keep it in the refrigerator. Kind of give us a little information on that. Yes, definitely natural organic based products will go bad quicker, but they're better for you. You have to remember that. Infinite aloe lasts about four years, but if you do refrigerate, it's going to last a lot longer. Yeah. Well, four years as opposed to what, 20 years with yes. some of these? Can you imagine you go back in your cabinet and you see products that you've had in there for seven years right. and it is still good? And right. it scares me. That's scary. Yes. Isn't that scary? <laughs> very, very <laughs> scary. I know. All right. So, what if you have sensitive skin? I've got, and I know you've got sensitive skin I too. I do. I'm very sensitive. I have to watch everything I put on my skin. Can I tell on you for a minute here? Right before we went on, she took some, squirted it and put it on her nose. <laughs> right. we I always carry it with me. <laughs> we won't tell you where she has it right now. It's <laughs> hidden somewhere on her body, but we won't say. <laughs> well, ladies, thank you so much. Always good to see you. We hope you come back again. It's always so much we'd fun. Love to. Yeah, we'd love to come back again. Thank you so much. Thanks. Absolutely. And to stay on top of the latest developments in skincare and all the best Mother Nature has to offer, please visit the skincare experts over at infinitealloe.com. Thank <laughs> you.